kind of equipment do I need to get started? That's a great question. Walter T. Kelly offers two beginner kits. Our first one is our deluxe beginner kit. This kit includes your screen bottom board, two high bodies, two supers, an inner cover and an outer cover, an entrance feeder, the cotton jacket with the zip-on square veil, hard helmet, and goatskin gloves. It also includes Mr. Kelly's How to Keep Bees and Sell Honey book, which is excellent for beginners, and the Beekeeping Principles book. It includes the hive tool, bee brush, and smoker with the smoker fuel. It includes 40 support pins, which is enough to put two in each deep frame. Our other beginner's kit is the basic beginner's outfit. It includes a screen bottom board, a high body, 10 frames and foundation, inner and outer cover, Mr. Kelly's book, 20 support pins, goat skin gloves, your smoker entrance feeder, and the square veil with the hard helmet. This veil has a drawstring, so you don't have to have it for a jacket. The drawstring just wraps around your body. Okay. The difference in these two kits, this one will get you through about the first year, possibly into the second. After your bees have been in the hive for four to six weeks in your first box, you're going to need another box to add on. So if you want to start small, this is a good kit. If you want to get everything that you're going to need for at least the first year, the Deluxe is much better. Okay. And I see that the catalog has six different kinds of frames. Which ones do I need to use? Yes, let me show you the different styles. The end style is our most common frame. It's the Kelly recommended frame. It has a slot in the top. The end bars and bottom bars are grooved. So you just slide the sheets of wax foundation down through the slot into the grooves, slip a couple support pins in the holes of the end bars, and you're done. It's very time efficient. The HDX style is great for plastic foundation. It has a groove in the top bar and a groove in the bottom bar. So it's real easy to just pop the plastic in. We also have natural beeswax foundation made for these frames as well. The D style has a wedge at the top, has a removable piece of wood called the wedge. You pop it out, bottom bar is divided. The wax sheets that are made for this frame have vertical wire in them that has hooks that stick out. They're bent at a 90 degree angle. You lay those hooks in there, tack that wedge back in, and you're done. The SG style is very, very simmable. It also has the removable wedge. The only difference is it has the grooved bottom bar. The S style has the wedge top bar as well. It just has a solid bottom bar. For beekeepers that are wanting to go more natural, we have the foundationless frame. You simply melt a bead of wax on the cone guide and the, put it in the hive and the bees will actually draw their own down. So it's, it's a little bit more natural. What is foundation and what does it mean when you say with hooks? Foundation is beeswax that we have formed into sheets to fit the frames. We actually produce our own beeswax foundation here. So they're each made to fit each individual frame. Hooks is just where there's vertical wire and those certain frames with the wedge top bar require the hook. It's where the wire sticks up and is bent at a 90 degree angle. Okay, and um, as far as package bees, what kind do you all sell and is there a guarantee on them? We have Italian and Russian. Italian are more docile. The Russian are over winter better. They're more naturally to mice and diseases, but they are a bit more defensive. Um, we do guarantee our package bees to be alive when they arrive and we guarantee a laying queen. And when can I order those? December. We start taking orders in December. Um, we actually ship, or you can pick them up in April and May. When you place your order in December, we'll give you a, a scheduled date. Um, what kind of queens do you all sell, and do you have a guarantee on those also? We do guarantee our queens to lay and that they will arrive alive. We have Italian, which are the more docile, Russian, that are more naturally resistant to mites and diseases. Carniolan um, 
They are a very hardy queen. They are excellent comb builders and honey producers. And then the Cordovan are known for their gentleness. They're a really light golden brown color, so they're easy to find. Okay, and um, I'm gonna need some coveralls. So what is the sizing on those? Um, basically, you just need to measure your chest size around your chest underneath your arms. Um, add four to six inches to that and look at our sizing chart. It has some different measurements for the length. So. Okay, well thank you. You're welcome.